Hey everybody, Phil here again. I, uh, Kathy's in the middle of doing some coasters, so I just thought I'd come up and video and see, see how they turn out. Looks like she's doing them in a uh, brown and, and gold, I guess. Is that what you're using? It's, yes, it is. It's brown and gold. Okay. It is called Burnt Umber. Burnt Umber. Paint by Arteza. It's a 24 karat gold by DecoArt. And then my black cell activator. Okay. I'm already a mess, so I thought, well, I might as well just keep going. <laughs> well, this is an unscheduled video. I just decided to wander up to see what she was doing. And she's having fun doing coasters, so... He let's... heard me blowing my brains out. Yeah. <laughs> I did hear, hear you from downstairs doing something. Can't wait to see how these stretch out. See, I um, sold out of all the browns and the golds. Yes. So I thought I'd better do some browns and golds because a woman came in and wanted taupe. Sorry, sold out. So I figured, well, we got rained out at the art fair. I might as well do something productive today. Exactly. So I'm just doing more coasters to try to catch up on the ones that we sold out of and everything, so. Yeah, we, uh, we have two weeks until the next art fair and we wanna make sure we have enough, enough inventory. Wow. Yeah, you never know what's going to yeah. sell. These are really cool just like they are. <laughs> I'll tell I you. I know they wow. are, aren't they? The blues, the browns, the turquoise, they always, they sell out really, really fast. Well, she's doing some tipping on these. Let me show you some that she completed earlier today. Just very nice lacing, cell formation. Then there's another set over here. Or the purple and Grays, I guess you would call it. Just, whoops. So she's getting some really nice coasters made. This is the top of the accent table she did in a previous video. It's still drying, so we can't wait to get that completely dry so that she can resin it. And that'll even pop out the colors more. And we'll show you the completed accent table when it's done. Okay, I'll just take another pass over the tiles she's done today. Okay, let's see this. She has the first one done. I like that very nice in the browns. Yeah, okay. it, that'll be one of the first ones to go. Yeah. A lot of people have, I guess, brown leather furniture and stuff. And, or black. Yeah, and these seem to be very good sellers in those colors. I'll tell you, 
the cell activator and I, I'm spot on, spot on with it. Yeah, you're really getting that, the formula down. I got the formula down. It's funny how uh, people come into my, my art tent and they'll say, oh, I do this, I do this, oh. And I go, well, that's good. So there's a lot of people that, you know, are doing this at least. They always say, well, we don't have the cells like you do. And then I always say, well, what, you know, what are you using? They're, they use so many different things, it's not even funny. Well, there are a lot of things that you can use. So. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. You can experiment with a lot of different things. Oh, these wow, are going to be pretty. They're going to be pretty. That's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, these are going to be really pretty. I mean, just look at this, the pigment in it. Can yeah. you see the 24 karat gold? Yes. And stuff? Yeah, there's a little bit of glare, but... Actually, there is no pigment in this. This is the 24 karat gold. Oh, 20, okay. The All deco right. art. That, that really is amazing. Yeah, if you want really pretty gold, go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and get yourself a jar of the 24 karat gold deco art. Because, I mean, it's, it's really beautiful. It glistens. I can't believe the sun's out. So we have the peanut gallery over there. <laughs> our our schnauzer, schnau, schnauzer Boozy. She's she, been missing us. Yeah, she kind of stays up here the whole time that Kathy's doing her stuff. She's my shadow. Yes. I go to the bathroom, she's in the bathroom with me. Wherever I go, she goes. She's my love. are nice. Mm -hmm. I like this color combo. Let's see this one. Very nice. Okay, one more to go. Them together. And then I think I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, you've done a lot of stuff already today. Yeah, I think I'm I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. There we go. Because all these sets are really, really pretty. Well, you've got quite a few sets you're going to have to resin in a few days. Yeah, and you know what? What? It's past my martini time. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> well, that's good. You can, you can reward yourself with a nice martini when you're done. Yes, and three olives, and oh, and I also, I didn't tell you everybody, in my martinis, I also put um, the little uh, grape tomatoes. Yes, you do. And they are so good because they get so uh, cold, and then you just dip them in a little bit of salt. I mean, you don't even need salt, but oh my gosh, they're so good. So I put four tomatoes on the bottom, and three olives, and I have my salad, and then I just dump in my vodka, let that all marinate, and away I go. So darn good. And Phil's gonna try a new bourbon. Somebody, one of the uh, exhibitors yesterday, he's a, he's a real big bourbon drinker, and uh, our son-in-law always gives Phil uh, different kinds of bourbon. And he said, oh, have you ever tried, what was it called? Um, no, you have to ask me what I can't Not remember. the knob. Something Trace. Oh, yeah. Something um, Trace. But uh, I wrote it down, so yeah. everybody's going to think we're, we're alcoholics. Not really, because, I mean, we just like trying different things. It's not that we drink it. I mean, we have a whole bar full. But it's not like we drink it. Well, we drink oh, it. We well, just... I mean, it's not like excessive. 
Okay, let's see where okay, we ended up. Done. Wow, look at that one. Holy cow. This is a beautiful set. Mm-hmm, it really, really is. Really a nice set, God. Wow. Yes, it really is, isn't it? Okay. I'm, I'm just <laughs> looking for my cups to put them on. But all right, everybody. Um, this was uh, just You're not probably, really up. Yes. We just all of a sudden, Phil, the com moment. Phil comes up with the camera. You know, he's the cameraman. He carries it all around. And then he comes at me, you know, and just goes, okay, I'm going to video you. And it's like, well, thank God I look halfway decent because sometimes I don't look too good. But anyways, I was rubbing my eyes today because now my eyes are itchy and everything. But at least I'm done and subscribe to our channel. You never know what Phil is going to video. And um, if you like, give me a thumbs up, share it, and have a great day. Bye.